So now we're in front of the fan desk here at the Eurovision Song Contest 2010. This is what the fans and the journalists in the hall are filling in. This is the voting sheet, what they think is going into the semi-final top 10. And now we take a shot of the people behind the uh, counter. And you see as well now the 100th voter. And by pure coincidence, this is Peer, and he's the host of Melody Grand Prix here in Norway. Mm -hmm. So you're the 100th person to, to vote. What is your, your top 10 of the semi finals? My top 10? I have only uh, voted for the second one. And yes, you're in. Who is in? <laughs> Holland. Holland is in, okay. Yeah. That's, a good, that's good news. Yeah. That's good news. Yeah, and I saw, I saw her rehearsals today. Shame about her voice, but I couldn't tell that she had a sore voice from what she did. And I think that's the underdog. You're in the right semi final because we would love it. It sounds very familiar to what we play here. And um, it's something that could go well on P1 radio here. So, um, now we like to Nick. You've been hosting many, many, many shows in, in Norway and Melody Grand Prix. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of this year's entry of Norway? I think he is going to do well. He's uh, a trained uh, singer and he has uh, enough charm and uh, stamina to, to come start at number three and actually could do quite well. I, I'm, I say we're going to win, but... Uh, I'm not supposed to. Be. I'm pretty sure you're a Eurovision expert in your country. And not really, but yeah, I'm, uh, I've been working with it this four last year, so I know the years I've been working with it. But I'm not like a, a nerd. I'm not, I, you can't ask me about who came third in 78, I wouldn't know. But, but what is yeah. your favorite uh, Norwegian Eurovision entry ever? The most fairy tale. Last year's to win. Yeah, of course. Why? Because Why? I, was, I was very instrumental in the production of it, it's and I got to travel with uh, Alessandro Dubo, so that's a memory for life. Probably one of the most fun things I ever get to do. You know, to be by his side when he gets 16, 12 points from the rest of the world. And we proved for once that it has nothing to do with borders. The people say that the Eastern Bloc is against the Western Bloc. That's bullshit. Best song wins. I'm and glad for, for that statement. Of course, and I mean, we should stop being so uh, so paranoid about that. We should rather create the best fun and the best songs. And I mean, what you're doing uh, in Holland this year is interesting because that's something that we call broad and uh, people like Norway, and that could be negative, but I think it's positive. I think she will transfer. She's young and she does something that's very close to heart to many of the older voters as well. So that it could be a perfect combination. Let's hope the best for the Netherlands that they go through into the final this time. Of course you will. If you don't believe it, I'm Norwegian, I shouldn't say it, you should say it. Fantastic. So, yeah, of course you should go to the final. And if Zinik meets you and you said, mm, let's hope, no. You she say will. we're going to win, that's how we started working with Riva. Fantastic. Yeah. Now you're at the, at the fan desk here and you have yeah. been casting your vote, yeah. and, uh, but you are the 100th voter and uh, I've been told by the organizers behind the fan desk here, Rolf yes. and I'm from South Africa uh, and uh, now uh, we have a special gift for you. Yeah, which is? Fairy tale in Afrikaans, my home language, sung by Lee. It's a Hi. singer Hi. from Hi. South Africa. Hi. It's called Wonderland. Wonderland. Fantastic. You have to come to the party tomorrow with Alexander Riva. Really? Well, oh yeah, there's the party tomorrow. I'll well, so go and get you an invite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, so you get to say hello to him. I'll give it to him. Oh, you know, that's what. But, yeah. uh, no, no, he has a special gift for Alexander. Yeah, so you have to meet him tomorrow. <laughs> now, that yeah. one is just for you. Thank you very much. And you have to come tomorrow. I'm going to go and get the invite now. Alexander, Didrik and Maria, who was in 2008, are all going we to We did Maria's together. song also. Did in you? Afrikaans, yes. And we're going to do Didrik's song too. Fantastic. And you get to meet him all tomorrow. Perfect. Yeah. But now, of course, uh, uh, Lee, can you do a bit of fairy tale in Afrikaans right now for us to Fata listen? Fatala. Whoa, okay. Um... This is my wonder. <laughs> fairy tale in yeah, Africa. Yeah, but not all the words yet, because yeah, it's, kind of, it's, yeah, it's, it's not even blank yet. Even released at the moment, yeah. so it's still very new in production. Mm. 
Fantastic. Thank you very much. And thank, you for, thank you for coming here and celebrating this event with the fan stand because we really want the OAG fan stand to be the best fan stand ever. Fantastic. Thank you very much and uh, good luck tomorrow with uh, meeting the original singer, the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest in 2009. I'm just going to say thank you to the guests who has just won the prize. Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. And it's we'll just say goodbye to the viewers. Goodbye. See you. Saturday on 29th when Norway meets Holland in the final. Okay, thank you very much.